Yeah, I'm in my Bible four hours. Four hours, minimum. Sometimes I get in there at 8 o'clock in the morning. I stop at lunch, get something to eat. I'm back in it. By the time my dog and I throw the ball, I'm back in it. We throw the ball again. I'm back in it. And then finally God says, go to sleep. And I have to tell him, but this is too good. What I want to know from you is what kind of relationship do you have with the God you serve? Because some of us in here may not be serving the same God. Uh, uh, somebody open up the door so I can run. Let me get my car keys. Amen. <laughs> Normally I have one of my deacons with me and they have the keys. And when I get done, I tell them, start the car. <laughs> it may be chased out of here. Amen. What I want you to know is, ladies, ladies, how many have had a very good relationship in your life? Say amen. amen. Okay. Men. How many of you have had a very good relationship in your life? Say, amen. amen. That should be nothing compared to the relationship you have with God. Amen. You used to love to hear him call you and you'd stay on the phone, go to sleep, and you hear him snoring and be like, baby, baby, you sleep. Oh, no, no, I ain't sleep, baby. <laughs> right? You stay up all night, amen. How long do you stay in the word? How long do you stay in prayer? How long, wait a minute now, see that's everything you're doing to get there. How long do you shut up and listen to God talk to you? See, I've come from that border of Louisiana and Texas and, and we call people alligators. They got big mouth and little ears. See, God gave us two ears and one mouth, one to talk, but twice the time to listen. So I'm going to quit right here because some of y'all like, I wish this boo fool would. That's why y'all don't want me as a teacher next year. Because I'm going to be real. As the young folk used to say, I'm going to keep it 100. Now let me give you my testimony so you know I'm not playing. I was a crackhead been in and out of the institution. I was 102 pounds when I came to Jesus. Two cocaine heart attacks in one year. The devil was trying to take me out. I'm the product of a rape. But look at God. I'm the pastor of Crossroads Christian Community Center in Long Beach. It's a growing ministry. Watch out. Watch out. I stopped by here to just tell y'all this. Spend as much time with God as you do on the phone with your friend. In fact, tell your friend, I'm sorry, I have to talk to my lover. See, the Bible says that God so loved the world. Let me interpret that for you from the Greek, the Hebrew, the Aramaic, the Latin, and the Persian. What it really means is God's in love with you. I'm going to let that marinate. God is in love with you. Do you love him back? Do you really love him back? See, because you're here, because he touched you here, but he wants you to go out there. Amen? Amen. Don't, look, behind here is easy. I can take one scripture and run for 30 minutes. But what do you tell a homeless person? Do you got a testimony? Can you cut it down to a minute and 15 seconds? Can you do it with power and the anointing that changed you so that that person can have some hope? Huh? And maybe with hope grab some faith. Now faith. 